For one man, they would view a used sticker and throw it in the trash. For another man, they would pull it out of the trash and then their manager would yell at them and say, don't ever do that again. Being as promiscuous as I am when it comes to collecting Lego, if there is that red logo slapped on the side of something, I want it no matter what. Even if it's some obscure little piece of trash that literally anybody else would throw away, I want it. I am like a crack baby when it comes to crack. I'm addicted to crack. Hey, I'm moving right now. I'm trying to get rid of useless nonsense that no one really wants. I have this big, heavy stack of books that you can find most of these images online, so it's really useless and worthless to just about any human being. Would you like to have them? Why, yes I would! Those are ordering catalogs. They were sent to third-party private small stores so they could pick and choose what sets and items they would want from LEGO that year. There are a lot of neat things in here. Like a picture of the 2014 Cantina, but they didn't quite have the new Bith Musician head mold out, so they used Squidward's head. That's freaking cool! Bonus item, Transformers piece of acrylic. I have... I have problems. Misprints are pretty commonly known. Look, a funny lady with a goatee. The ladies don't have facial hair. Base plates, a lot of people know them. Base plate accessories or pack-in bonuses, not as much. Like this cave or this giant ray. It looks like a souped up, sized up version of a Lego ray. There's not a single stud to be found anywhere. I'm pretty sure the Lego company themselves didn't technically make it, but it is Lego. It is neat. It is very hard to store. Boom, it's item. It's a floor mat from Walmart to advertise Lego Masters. This is Lego's like any other successful company. They want to have different lines of revenue to keep that, that monetization rolling in. What better way to do that than selling clothing? Not only do people get to rep the things they like, but they also advertise your product for free. Suffice to say, there, there's, a, there's a lot of Lego branded clothing. Uh, just, just a lot. You know those funny little Christmas movies that come out every year and they have the same plot line and characters and the exact same conclusion every single way? Oh, I'm a big city slicker and I'm coming out to insert the location here and I, my heart's being melted away by this hot cutie little patootie. Yeah, Homer, did you know they made other things other than just garbage movies? Movies? Huh, <laughs> neither did I. Hey kids, you like Minecraft? Well, Minecraft. Sometimes in video games, bugs aren't bad things. They're, they're a feature of the video game. Just like this Lego DeLorean. The doors are meant to close slowly because it looks cool. That's why Lego made a little plastic paper clip to hold it open, because it's a feature, not a bug. Bonus item, speech bubbles for Lego minifigures that wrap around their neck. Uh, fun. The force conflict between these two go back extensively. Mario has a ton, I mean a ton of sets, a whole line dedicated to it. Sonic only has two sets, but they aren't complete crap. It is easy to see who's better in the advertisement department for Lego because Mario is packing some heat. You have Big Mario, Little Mario, Mario sign, that looks cool. What does Sonic have? Door sticker. Some minifigures. Now people like myself, yes idiots, like collecting stuff when there's a complete set to collect. These free mind you, passports are no exception. You have the UK and EU versions, you have the US versions, you have other things that are completely irrelevant to it, but it's packed in as, a, as one big old package. Moon is item, it's a prop display cube from a pop-up Lego store in the UK. All jokes aside, the Lego video theme was an absolute train wreck. However, there were some neat things that came out with it, like these video shoelace charms, or these video lanyards, or video clothing, or video sign llama box, or a little llama promo bread, or video stickers, or video letters, or video banners. Oh, so you're a classic space fan? Do you have a blue and yellow popcorn bucket? I don't think so. Have you ever gone to a store's grand opening? Lego does the same thing. Store opens, you get a promo. Store opens, you get a promo. Store opens, I guess you get a promo. It's not very good, but you get it too. Picture this, you are blind. You're stumbling around, you don't know what to do, nothing you play with is right because you just can't figure out what it is, but then here comes Lego to grace upon you their newest brilliant. Braille bricks. Bricks that use studs as bumps to spell out in braille. You now know what you're playing with. Ah, oh, this is an L brick. I know it because of the, 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 the bumps. Who's gonna pay more than $3 for a mini doll? Unless it has some exclusive cardboard packaging in it. Ooh. Every year to celebrate the Christmas season, Lego makes an exclusive set for its employees and brand ambassadors and... Well, a lot of people, a lot of people, probably 25,000 copies of these sets are made, but they're still unique. Like this Ninjago one that only holds value because it has a special box. Now that one's a special one because it has a little neat figure that's exclusive and now $500. Why? Bonus item. I do not want to record that again. It's a city banner. Kids, cars, Lego, kids, cars, Lego, kids, cars. You make, it makes sense. Kids like cars, Lego likes kids, Lego makes kids cars Lego. What better way to promote that than by passing out free Lego cars, which these, th this is what these are. In 2009, they came out in cereal boxes and if you bought a cereal, you got a free car. What's better than a free car? Oh, we love free cars. Hot take, I like weird, Indiana Jones stuff around Lego, like this banner or these promotional bricks. This knockoff transformation chamber that's not as rare as expensive as the actual ones. What about these printed tiles, official Lego products? Unlike these knockoffs, which they're not actually knockoffs, they're real Lego products, but they're knocking off 
Indiana Jones, like Larry Jones and Larry Jones' chest and Dr. Jones' veterinarian clinic. Bonus item, they're kind of like prototype CMF series from Coca-Cola in Japan. You would open it up and there could be a random figure in there or there could just be a one, literally one Lego piece. Much like clothing, pins do a very similar thing. They advertise just on a smaller scale and they make you look like an even bigger nerd. Now, you probably already know this, but Lego made toys made from wood. What? Wood toys? That's like stuff my, your, your, my dad played with, you old man. Now this wooden toy might very well just be Lego. It's probably not. I actually think it's from another company from the same time period, but the wheels, those are probably Lego. The Lego modular line has become quite the commodity, with the older original sets being really, 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 really expensive. Unsurprisingly, that goes with a lot of the collectible promotional things. Most of the GWPs or gift with purchases are relatively cheap. They were mass produced and you can go just about anywhere and find some. A lot of things are the exact opposite of that, like a postcard that's nearly $40 just for a little sticker. Or a fake hotel room key card that you can buy for right around the grand old price of $200. Or you could just redeem a couple hundred VIP points and get some stickers and postcards. Lego for its employees holds this little thing called Play Day. Usually you'd go to an event like bowling or laser tag, ooh, but sometimes they have free things like a tote bag or a water bottle. Bonus item, I'm sure you've seen the Nest Quick Rabbit, but have you seen the Nest Quick Rabbit in a little car? This is a rock. Like most other rocks, it doesn't look that special, but what if I told you it was actually on the set of a Lego Star Wars thing? Yeah, it's still just a rock. And finally, to wrap up, we have something that's somehow even more ridiculously priced than Lego. Department 56. The Christmas village crap your mom collects? Yeah, this is like this is like the Lego version of that world. It was a collab a few years back where there were Lego themed Christmas village buildings made, like a forklift and, and another forklift, but this one goes back and forth, and then also a Lego factory. Isn't that real neat? If there's any message to be taken from this, I should not be allowed to have a credit card.